When the feces hits the oscillator, you gotta get your gun out fast and in the fight fast. I'm John Correa, the founder and owner here at Active Self Protection, and today's video comes to us I'm not sure where from. So if you have any information, put it in a comment. I'll add it to the description. The new Mantis X10 firearms performance system has all the goodness of the original, plus holster draw analysis and recoil analysis. It's a fantastic upgrade and I recommend it highly. Our intended victim is trying to get in through this gate and you see him there. You can actually see just the tip of his car on the right. And he's on the phone here while this car pulls up trying to get inside this gate. Dude jumps out with a gun. Well, he has one of his own, so he gets out his and gets the first shot on target. Partner flees because there's no honor among thieves. And now he's gonna go around to the other side of the car. Can't see what the bad guy's doing, but we do see that the good guy puts a couple more shots in him here. And finally, I think he's gonna put something on the ground there. I think the cell phone or something like that, never lets go of the groceries, is gonna go over and take the gun away from this guy and run off. And that, friends, is where this one ends. If you wanna get better at your handgun draw and getting that first shot on target, join us on the Active Self Protection Extra channel. Every single week, we post videos to help good, sane, sober, moral people get better with their handguns, with their long guns, with their empty-handed skills, with their legal and moral knowledge. So come and join us over there. There's a link in the description. Let's think about lessons. A lot of stuff to like about this one. Number one, he's trying to get through a, you know, a gate. I get that, a gated community makes sense given the dangers that he's going to face. But notice here that as he's trying to get in the gate, he is paying attention to his world and he sees that white car a little ways off. We say it all the time on the channel, attention buys you time and time buys you options. Therefore, pay attention to your world. Now again, paying attention is more than situational awareness. It's personal awareness as well as environmental awareness and therefore situational awareness. Uh, add all three of those together, you get paying attention. So he is seeing what's going on in the world. Now he gets on the phone, ostensibly my guess is to get inside there, but notice that he turns away from the gate in order to see what's coming down the road. That was a very savvy move. I think a lot of times people get their attention focused on where they want to go inside the gate and that puts them at an initiative deficit when things come. So he is on the phone there. Aha, that's great. And he is though facing outward, paying attention outward, eyes up and not head down on his phone. And that really is a significant difference here in coming out of this okay. Now, as it goes on, what we see is we see our bad guy is going to jump out of the car. Now, because of the resolution, we can't see the gun that he's got on him, but very clearly our good guy does. And now he's got to get his blaster out and in the fight. But I also want to notice that to do that, what he's done here is he has transferred whatever he has in his hand from his right hand to his left before he goes uh, to go get his gun. And that costs him a good bit of time. Now, thankfully, it wasn't a fight differentiating bit of time, but it very well could have been. Learn to drop what's in your hands. Just drop what's in your hands. That guy's got a gun and he knows it. Get your gun out, get two hands on it, get in the fight. Now, our good guy doesn't get to do that here. And because of that, he gets about a 2.1 second draw to first shot. Now, that is enough in this particular instance, but faster is better. And everybody, nobody ever got done with a gunfight and said, man, I was too fast and too accurate with my handgun. So get that gun out in the fight. And, and the other part of that is because he's left his groceries in his left hand, he is shooting that gun one handed, much more difficult to do quickly and with accuracy. That said, he was the first one to get a shot on target and the first one to put a shot in the meaty bits of the other guy wins. Now he does some other savvy stuff here and that as soon as he does get a shot on the guy and gets a couple rounds down range, he gets behind cover here is that he scooches over and gets down behind the car where the bad guy can't see him. Now I, I don't often in private citizen gunfights see cover and concealment used, but when we do concealment generally works as well as cover, but he's savvy here to get down behind the engine block because cover if it blocks a bullet is better than not. And then he does something else very savvy here and that he doesn't come up in the same spot that he went around the cover. He goes around to the other side. And you know, as Pat McNamara says, people are pre-programmed to pick up patterns of predictability. And so if you know that, you can come out in a different spot than you came in, and now you are the hunter and not the rabbit. And it is important in these kinds of incidents in self-defense gunfights that when it's time for the fight to begin, you become the hunter and not the rabbit. You wanna be the hunter and not the rabbit. That's a mindset thing. And this guy did that very well, came out the other side, and put fight stopping hits on the bad guy. And that was very savvy. Now then, he is going to get those hits and then go around back over to the other side again where he can see the guy. Now the problem of course, is that he's lost the, the view of him in that instance. But I, my guess is he feels pretty good that the guy is down. Now he's gonna come over here and uh, disarm the guy. Okay, fine. 
but that's not something that you necessarily have to do. Uh, I mean, as a private citizen, you can, and it's okay and you know, to stop that and to secure that firearm, but no necessary need. And then he does something that I think is really good and starts to get the heck out of the danger zone. Now, of course, let's think and talk about, he's gonna go back towards his car here. And uh, you know, I, generally speaking, you wanna stay you know, in the vicinity of that deadly force encounter, unless you have a clear reason for your own safety that you have to leave. But then of course you do wanna get on the phone with 911, get emergency services there and help you clean that mess up and make sure that everything is justified. Now, thankfully this one on camera clearly is justified, but make sure again that you win the race to 911 and don't leave unless you have to for your safety. This guy did an awful lot of stuff right and because he did, he covered his ass.